A gunman is on the loose after someone opened fire on a group of men in a backyard. They all appeared to know each other when suddenly one of them shot the others. It happened after midnight at a house at 53rd Street and Orange Avenue in Long Beach. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is there live. He spoke with the victim's stunned relatives. Dave. Well, still a very strange mystery here. The uh, police uh, told me just a few minutes ago they really have no clues whatsoever, and they're not getting much in the way of cooperation. And a number of people have been coming in and out of this uh, complex behind me. In fact, I counted at one point nearly 30 people in that backyard. They asked for their privacy. They are still absolutely stunned over what happened. How could a 53-year-old man, they say, who immigrated here from Cambodia, escaped from Cambodia, have been killed this way? As a teenager in 1978, when he was 15 years old, Sui Favong escaped the killing fields of Cambodia. This man remembers meeting him in a refugee camp. In Thailand border. So, and so you escaped together from Cambodia? No, uh, I come first. Favong followed, grew up in Long Beach, married, had five children, and last night, just before midnight, he was gunned down in his backyard. We want some answers. We don't even know what happened and why did he did that to my dad. According to the police, Favang was in his backyard with three other men just before midnight. One of the men was described as a close friend of Favang who was an off-duty cab driver. Another man was just a neighbor. The fourth man in the backyard, according to family members, was someone that they all knew but not real well, who suddenly, according to police and neighbors, opened fire, killing Favang, killing the off-duty cab driver, and wounding the neighbor. The argument beforehand or anything like that? Uh, no, I, I don't know. They don't tell me nothing. He's a very loving dad. And, you know, it's hard to, to hear this. You know, it's, it's really devastating. From the alleyway, you could see the trajectory of one of the bullets through the garage door, across the alley, into a fence. No one would tell us how many shots were fired. Police were told there were at least three shots and everything happened in the backyard. A family member told me that one witness told police that after the wife who was inside heard at least the third shot, she ran out in the backyard, saw her husband laying on the ground, and then saw a man running down this grassway as fast as he could, and he headed toward the street and disappeared. Yeah, yeah, she saw the guy ran out, but she couldn't tell who it was. Yeah, but he had no enemies, no known enemies or nothing? I have no idea about that. He was a he humble person. for anybody, he was that kind of man. Yeah. You know, good to his friends and everything. That's why everybody is shocked. All day, a parade of family and friends came to the home in North Long Beach and went into the backyard, looking, staring, wondering, how could this happen to him? And asking themselves over and over, who was that fourth man? A question police would like to know. Right now, they're stymied. We can tell you we have learned that the off-duty cab driver who was also killed was 30 years of age. He also an immigrant from Cambodia. As for the man who was wounded, it was a flesh wound, I am told, in the arm. He's in the hospital. Police, uh, I asked police, is he cooperating? And their response was, we're not getting cooperation from anyone. Back to you in the studio.